just double click on Eclipse IDE and this is our project and here is uh, a class that we created again in this test projects package we are going to create another class and I'm going to name it login functionality test okay then I just want to what's wrong type already exists oh, okay login functionality Bank of America login functionality test and I click on finish and a class has been created as I told you before class is nothing but a template or a blueprint based on what we can build or create an object okay <clears throat> To run our test, what we have to do, we have to always create a main met method. So I just write, write main, then control space bar, and just press on enter. Okay, and it has been created. And then what we have to do, we have to instantiate browser. So I will say web driver. driver is equal to new uh, chrome driver we are using chrome driver um, and just terminate it with uh, semicolon in java programming always we have to do it after writing the line of code or program uh, we have to terminate each and every program with semicolon okay then uh, we have reference library here so that, that is selenium jar we know and we just hover over and import the web driver class and it has been imported if you don't understand what i'm doing please go back and watch other tutorials that i uh, created few days back okay then Chrome driver also a class and I importing the class it has been imported and we are ready to uh, tell driver driver go and get get uh, the URL of a banking application that we are going to test now okay and we are working with Bank of America, <clears throat> America.com, right? And let's uh, run the test, run the code, click on OK, and we see it cannot invoke the browser. Uh, it says exception in the thread main, thread main, main. It says a Java language illegal state exception. The path to the driver executable must be set by set by the driver. Then just copy it by the driver. And we have to set property. Okay. So I will set it. I will say system dot set property not properties and I just paste chrome driver dot chrome dot driver and here in the second arguments there will be uh, the part of the what part of our uh, web driver now we have drivers here where here uh, I, I think those who attended in the previous tutorial, you know what I'm talking about. 
if you are following for the first time then go back and watch the previous video tutorials and I just uh, right button click here go to properties and just how I did it uh, let me show you again just click on Chrome driver then right button click go to property then just copy it okay copy the path and just paste here in between the inverted commas and now we can check or test whether it's working click on ok and we can see it's in instantiating the browser navigating to bankofamerica.com and it opens the um, login functionality I just write button on online ID then click on inspect elements and click on this uh, arrow icon then I can find element by um, I cannot see any element that we can let me check again uh, what we can do I can make it a little bigger and what we can do we can just copy the export or CSS selector I copy the export and we can check again actually just click here click on the arrow icon then click back on online ID and we can check back there should be a highlight sign in portal let's do it again to make sure okay you see it's still Bank of America even is not that much responsive that's just disappearing I think it needs a little more work from developer side then I just click back here and I see a lot of I just want to make sure let's not be confused click on inspect elements okay and I just click back here and definitely I want to click back and I just click on copy and take the export actually I want to make sure it's really working well ID is sign in partial let's not confuse let's do it again all right so again I click on icon then click on online ID it's showing the whole okay no problem I can take uh, copy the export again if we have any doubts 
we can click back then I can copy the export and go to our project and I can tell the driver driver dot find element by ID actually by export by export and I just paste the export here and I say send keys uh, I can put any email address one two three four at the rate gmail dot com it's a fake ID fake email address or username and I say driver dot find elements by I can say CSS selector and CS selector we can check uh, just click back here on the arrow icon then click back on passcode that, that means password okay and click here and click back on password and just copy the I'm copying a copy selector selector means the CSS selector okay then copy here paste here then I just say send keys and key is uh, a b c d one two three four this is the password again this is the negative testing and we are using <coughs> incorrect credentials okay now now we can just right button click then run yes go to java application click here and click on ok and it's invoking the browser navigating to bank of america <coughs> okay passing the parameter okay we work up to here and what we can do we can right button click in in the sign in then just click here okay then let me make it a little bigger and click back here on the arrow icon make sure you clicked on sign in and in the sign in button we can see on the span sign in so i would like to take the export again and what i'm going to do here driver i'm telling the driver find element for me and it's a vsd by export as we already copied export okay and I'm telling the driver to click on sign in so that we can uh, access to our bank account actually we cannot access the bank account because we are using fake credentials and using fake credentials if we can break the system if we can access that means the web application is not good it has error bug or defects if we cannot access that means the system is good so working as part the functional requirement that means the test is going to be passed okay now I can just right button click run as Java application click and click on OK and it's invoking the browser navigating to Bank of America and passing the parameter the credentials we put then click on uh, login button and it says a forgot ID password because we uh, gave fake credentials okay so our windows is not expanded 100% so to do it what we can do is we can write right here we can say um, driver dot manage what manage uh, time 
outs dot implicitly way and we can set any time it can be five seconds or ten seconds then we just say time unit time unit should be in seconds right seconds where is seconds right here and this argument should not be here anymore and there will be termination and now we are telling the driver to wait 10 seconds if he cannot find any elements while it's uh, looking or finding elements uh, to locate them okay but if it can find elements it will take only like zero seconds or one second and so by default implicitly wait is zero second and what we can say we can say here driver to manage window manage what window and how we want to be managed we want to be managed uh, making it maximize okay now if you run the test from here and you will find it's working really fine it's invoking the browser navigating to bank of america.com passing the fake credentials and clicking on sign in and it's asking for uh, card number uh, or last six digits because uh, we use the fake credentials and it couldn't go through it couldn't break the system okay fine now uh, this way we can find elements locate them determine our action and pass the parameter and check any uh, login functionality of any banking uh, application okay or any login functionality of any website or web application and finally I will say driver dot close close the word close the browser you see these browsers are not being closed because we are not telling the driver we are not writing the code sorry uh, to close the browser but now we say close the browser and we will find we can run the uh, project test from the class level so just right button click run as java application and now we will see this browser will be automatically will be closed because we write the code to shut down the browser yes it did now we are telling the driver driver uh, quit quit from what quit from the session okay quit the browser totally uh, now we can run again and we can run the test now in the next session we will uh, we will uh, learn how to make this code more modular more robust okay what is the meaning of modular if we go to google google and write modular code modular code Modular code is a code which is separated into independent modules. The idea is that internal details of individual modules should be hidden behind a public interface, making each module easier to understand, test, and refactor independently of others. Modularity is not just about code organization. Modular programming is a software design technique that emphasizes separating the functionality of a program into independent 
interchangeable module such as each contains everything necessary to execute only one aspect and desired functionality even you can reusable it will be reusable the code will be reusable the programming codes will be reusable the test scripts will be reusable you can use them again and again so in the next session okay we will uh, learn how we can do it but before it what i want to do i just want to um, tell driver to get title get title okay and to get title what we can do we can just say um, string we can store in a variable in a container and just say just take the title just copy it and say uh, CSO control spacebar and I just say uh, the title of the uh, application is class title okay so this title is this title okay so what we have to do uh, it will be here not there okay now we can run and check though it's saying there is mistake the application oh sorry so it will be here okay I think now okay just run it and check it it's definitely working <coughs> it's invoking the browser navigating to bank of america.com passing the para parameters credentials clicking on sign in and our test is definitely pass we can now see the tile now um, it's best best practice to just write finally see so the test successfully completed okay this is the best practice many company will do it okay so it's navigating invoking the browser navigating to bank of america.com passing the parameter click on submit button okay the task successfully completed okay now let's look little you know little uh, the codes are not modular we will make it modular more robust okay in the next session thank you very much um, if you have any question you can make any question in the comment section or you can make comments or any suggestion or whatever uh, in my youtube channel also uh, please subscribe the youtube youtube channel if you want to get update every time i uh, upload new video tutorial it will be nice okay uh, you can also if you have any queries you can also uh, write to me coding and testing daily at the rate gmail.com and every Saturday and Sunday we do have boot camps also on frameworks so if you are interested you can contact with us okay thank you very much coding and testing daily at the gmail.com thank you once again see you in the next session how we can make it more robust uh, modular a code more clean okay and uh, more re re reusable okay thank you